Did y'all watch my long video that I put out yesterday? TikTok suppressed it. Um, but I did a long video yesterday talking about Kanye West meeting up with Donald Trump at Mar-a-Lago and Nick Fuentes. Once you watch that video, it'll give you the context for this response from Donald Trump. So now it's been viral for two days, this story, and Nick Fuentes and Donald Trump and Kanye West have been trending for two days because of this story. Donald Trump had to get some of the action. And so he truthed this, you know, he posted this over on Truth Social and somebody over on Truth Social brings it out into the rest of the world. So in response to the video I shared in the video I did yesterday that Kanye West put out, this is what Donald Trump had, had to say. This past week, Kanye West called me to have dinner at Mar-a-Lago. Shortly thereafter, he unexpectedly showed up with three of his friends whom I knew nothing about. We had dinner on Tuesday evening with many members present on the back patio. The dinner was quick and uneventful. They then left for the airport. Ye, formerly known as Kanye West, was asking me for advice concerning some of his difficulties, in particular having to do with his business. We also discussed, to a lesser extent, politics, where I told him he should definitely not run for president. Any voters you may have should vote for Trump. Anyway, we got along great. He expressed no anti-Semitism, and I appreciate it appreciated all of the nice things he said about me on Tucker Carlson. Why wouldn't I agree to meet? Also, I didn't know Nick Fuentes. <laughs> the girls are going to be fighting. Donald Trump is going to be fighting with Ron DeSantis and Kanye West. And all of the white supremacists who surround themselves around Ron DeSantis, Kanye West, and Donald Trump, they're all going to be duking it out. I'm going to have to stock up on my popcorn. <laughs> <laughs>